and I got a red light, so I'm assuming that I'm going. So, Gustavo, um, let me ask you, uh, what brought you to Boise? Um, what do you, what do you, uh, what did you know about the dual language program in the Boise district? What brought me to Idaho in general is uh, the large uh, and growing Hispanic community that the state has and how they are uh, in a way changing the perception of the, uh, that many people might have of a Latino in the United States. A lot of people think that they are uh, you know, recently arrival migrating from uh, uh, other countries, but here in Idaho I'm finding that a lot of the population is established one, it's a second, third generation, uh, people who move from other uh, states with Hispanic heritage like Texas or California, and they have made Idaho their state. Uh, what I find very interesting in a program like this one is the fact that the state, the uh, school district has embraced that diversity, trying not only to help those who might need help uh, learning English as a second language, but taking that opportunity and using it as a cultural experience for the rest of the population and really uh, bridging that cultural gap that sometimes exists and that perception that because you are from a different culture, you are a little different than I am. And when we see it on children, when they play together, uh, they learn together, and now they speak together both languages, I think that is very, very important for the future of, uh, of not only the state, uh, not only of Latinos, but uh, of the country as a whole. So what perceptions do you have of the Boise District's dual language program now that you've seen it in action? It is, it is very interesting, certainly it's not the, the only one I've seen, there's other in the country, but the fact that it is on a state far away from what is perceived as a Latino country tells me that there is a recognition that uh, of the importance of being not only bilingual but being bicultural, multicultural. There's people here who, you know, I hear they also know a third language and, and the, the fact that they're learning a new language is also, uh, I think, going to help them in the future to, to improve their, their learning experience and be able to communicate with other people. So what are the takeaways for you with regard to the Boise District's dual language program? The takeaway, I, I think, not... Let me, let me think about that for sure. a second. Um, Having seen other dual language programs, how does this one compare? Not that I, I think what really uh, impressed me or what made me smile the most was the time before school started, how the kids were out on the field playing together, uh, playing not only soccer, playing uh, basketball, playing many different uh, games and sports and talking to each other like they're longtime friends uh, without any division. And, and, and you could hear that English and Spanish, certainly English is a more prominent one and I think that's the way perhaps it should be when you are on a daily basis, but how quickly they also exchange from one language to the other, much the, the way uh, many, many families in the United States have done, not only with Spanish, you know, the Polish immigrants uh, or, or the Russians or whoever other immigrant has had that, that experience at home where you could quickly switch uh, from one language and another, and, uh, to another. And something that I've been listening as I've traveled through Western states and I'm talking to second, third, or, or you know, uh, other generational Hispanics is how, as uh, grown-ups, adults, they grew up with the belief that they should not speak Spanish, that their parents, even though they might have been uh, uh, able to only speak Spanish at home, encourage the, their children not to speak Spanish, in some cases even punishing them for speaking uh, Spanish because they thought it would be uh, a, a, a hurdle, an extra, uh, an, an extra um, struggle for them to fit in within the, the U.S. culture. And now we're seeing this newer generation where that bilingual education is being embraced. And, and I think that is a big contrast uh, and, and certainly here in Western states, but I'm sure it's happening all over the country. Great. Anything else I didn't ask you that you wanted to share? You, you're the one running the show. So. Thank you very much. Thank you.